All right, this is about two related things, which are um, cloning of plants and merry stems. And I think this word itself gives people a few problems, so quick word about this first of all. Merry stem really refers to um, a tissue, a, a region of cells all doing a similar job. Ooh. Now, if I, I use green here just to rep uh, represent some plant cells, for example, each one of these would be uh, a merry stem cell. Or merry stomatic cells are sometimes called. But when we get a, a bunch of them together, we would call the entire region merry stem. Now, the thing with merry stem cells is that merry stem can undergo mitosis, so it can divide to make uh, genetically identical copies of itself, and it is unspecialized. Now, this is pretty important for us in plants. So if we looked at, for example, when we're looking at auxins in, in plant growth, um, this is the shoot of a plant, so that the tip of the shoot. So if, if I was drawing this as, um, let's try and give you some context here. If this was, um, here's the soil, and we've got a plant starting to grow, so we've got some roots, and the shoot is just coming out of the top. We're looking at that top part of the shoot here. This is what we're looking at, but we've... Uh, We've made it a lot larger. The meristem region, so remember the meristem is made up of these meristem cells, but the meristem region is here just behind the tip of the shoot. You also get it behind um, at the tip of the roots as well. So in other words, in a plant, the only bit that can actually grow and make new cells is that region. The rest of the plant, this is specialised cells. There's you know, all kinds of stuff in here, xylem, phloem, the parenchyma, all this kind of stuff, it's been specialised. Here we've got this region of unspecialized cells that can turn into any particular type of cell and they can divide and undergo mitosis in the words they can grow. So if we were to look at this and imagine it a bit like you know, that's like our region of merry stem cells. Okay. Now the thing that causes them to either specialize or to undergo mitosis is a chemical signal. And the chemical signal in this case are... Oh dear. Oh no, it's not good. Auxins. And auxins are a kind of um, plant hormone, I suppose, or a plant growth hormone. Now, you have um, growth hormones as well. So at the moment, you've got some growth hormones in your body which are still telling you to grow. So the, the reason you're still getting perhaps taller, so your bones are still growing, uh, the skin, the tissue, are because you have chemicals, hormones in your body which tell cells to divide and keep growing. Now, it's the same with a plant. Now these auxins in the plant are found at the, the kind of uh, in this merry stem region. And we know that when we have um, a light source, or a strong light source I should say, coming from one direction, the tendency is for uh, the auxins to go onto one side of the plant, away from the light. Okay, It's a bit unclear exactly whether they move across or whether something happens to them on the side near the light that breaks them down. It's not quite clear, but what we need to know is there are more of them on the side away from the, the light. So remember these auxins will make these cells grow. So what happens is the cells on one side, uh, let's see if I can draw this, will be growing, so they get a lot bigger, or they get longer in fact, they elongate, than the cells on the other side, which stays quite small. So the effect is it's pushing the plant over it's growing literally in the direction of the light because the cells on this side are dividing more or they're elongating they go from being that kind of size you know they elongate they get longer okay so it's literally growing more on one side so auxins are causing them to undergo mitosis in this case now in the cases of cloning remember um, what we have Let's say we, we have a plant here and we take a, a cutting from it and you would slice that just not on the, the stock leaf. You'd actually try and take a bit of tissue off the, the, the plant as well. There's a leaf. So if you were taking a cutting, so here we go now, I've sliced this off and I've got this bit of cutting. What we do is dip this end in rooting powder. And this is that kind of white powder you, you got if you remember doing it. Rooting powder contains auxins, or another type of plant hormone. And what it will do here, as well as promoting growth, as well as making these um, 
cells here because there are merry stem cells actually sitting in here as well as well as making them grow they will specialize them and they will specialize them into they'll start to develop into root cells so the plant will start to grow sorry the cutting will start to develop roots now the problem that you have this would actually happen if you you took a, a cutting from any plant so if we classic example suppose you get a flower there we go First thing you're meant to do with flowers when you get them, of course, is you, you put them in a vase and you put them in water. And the reason you do that is that the plant needs a constant stream of water going up uh, the stem in order to stay upright. And by putting it in water, that helps. The, the, the poor old plant, because it doesn't have roots, it can't quite do this quickly enough. And so it, it can survive for a few days, but after a few days, it just can't take the water up quickly enough. If it's given enough time, it would actually start developing roots given enough time okay which is what we're trying to do when we we take cuttings so you don't simply dip it in the end and just leave it you would plant it in soil some compost but you would still have to cover this up with something like a clear plastic bag you can probably work out why it has to be clear what that would do is it would trap any water that's been taken up by the plant and been lost through the leaves it would trap it on the inside and it means it keeps it quite moist. That gives the plant enough time for the rooting powder to make the cells at the end here change into roots and start dividing. So the rooting powder contains auxins which will make these cells turn, differentiate, specialise if you like, into root cells. So it's the same process going on in both these cases I suppose. Um, the, the phototropism growing towards the light and in the case of cloning plants, because this, of course, will be genetically identical to the parent plant, because it's just exactly the same cells. So we might do this if we wanted to grow a plant which is exactly the same, perhaps wanted flowers the same colour, perhaps wanted a vegetable that was the same, whatever it may be. Um, and so this kind of technique is very useful.